watching Motor News with me, Katie Neiman, and Chris Watts. Mercedes-Benz is offering a glimpse into the future with My Command, an internet-based infotainment system. My Command is especially efficient and user-friendly and offers a range of functions unrivaled for variety. Using internet connectivity, all data and information is kept fresh and current at all times, without the need for software or hardware updates. The most important new services of My Command are off-board navigation and trip assist, which takes traffic information from the internet for up-to-the-minute route selection and destinations can be combined with up-to-the-minute data so the driver can find such things as the cheapest filling stations, the weather along the route and can inform the user about the hotels and leisure facilities at the destination. While internet telephony uses voice-over internet protocol which enables telephone calls free of charge. The Alfa Mito, which goes on sale in January, has been awarded a maximum 5-star Euro NCAP crash safety rating, making it one of the safest vehicles in its segment. Alfa Romeo's sporty new compact comes with a host of sophisticated electronic systems for control of vehicle behaviour, and all this technology is underwritten by the provision of seven airbags, three-point seat belts, and self-aligning head restraints. Also worthy of mention is the contribution to occupant protection made by the Mito's body shell, the bonnet doors and dashboard cross member. In addition to the seats and steering column have all been designed with a particular view to their behaviour in the event of an accident. To build the world's first car to measure less than three metres long, but with four seats inside, Toyota maximised every last millimetre of space in the remarkable new IQ City car. Here's a promo. IQ represents a paradigm shift in small car design. A car that challenges conventional thinking of automotive hierarchies and common perception. Small yet spacious, sophisticated yet small. The original design brief was simple. Generate a vision of an ultra-compact, highly space-efficient, environmentally friendly vehicle that maximizes the urban lifestyle of European metropolitan dwellers. The IQ is based on the three key design elements of the Toyota Vibrant Clarity philosophy, which is defined by the synergy of emotional and rational values. The first one is the perfect imbalance of proportions, resulting in a simple yet daring exterior. The IQ's proportions reflect the strong contrast of its dimensions, compact but wide, giving a stable and robust stance. Inside the car, the seating concept reflects the perfect imbalance of space to accommodate up to four people. The second is the integrated component architecture, where each unit contributes to the overall design. For example, the wheel arches and the bumpers form part of the minimal front and rear overhangs, conveying both strength and agility. And last but not least, freeform geometrics. Drawing inspiration from mathematical formulas such as Dinny's and Shirk's, the designers sculpted unique exterior surfaces which are mathematically precise yet surprisingly organic and freeform. It is simple yet intriguing, representing forward-looking Japanese design. About three quarters of a year prior to the actual market launch, Porsche AG has disclosed the first official photos of the Panamera. The Panamera comes with highly individual contoured air intakes instead of a conventional radiator grille. Striking wheel arches and the long sleek bonnet create that typical 911 landscape at the front of the car, which Porsche customers have appreciated for no less than 45 years. The V-shaped lines along the bonnet and the rear window tapering out towards the tail convey features characteristic of a sports car to the new Panamera class. The muscular shoulders over the rear wheels, the sweep of the coupe-like roofline, and the visible tailpipes signpost the DNA typical of a Porsche. The Panamera will be making its world debut in spring 2009, and the first models will be at dealers worldwide in late summer of next year. 
It's awards time again, and Volkswagen's new Sirocco has been named Car of the Year 2008 by Top Gear. The judging panel explained the standard ACC system allows you to swap between soft and scythe at the touch of a button, giving you a spread of abilities far beyond what we've come to expect from the average car. And that, amongst the mega machinery that makes up a lot of the Top Gear awards, we're celebrating something truly unique, a common man's exotic. The Sirocco is a car we can understand, appreciate and afford. That's all for this week. See you next time on Motor News.